Hey, 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 my name is Steve Yallo. I'm a travel vlogger from the United States, and this is episode two of my series traveling around Sri Lanka. And in episode one, I realized I never shared where in the world Sri Lanka is. So real quick, let's take a look at the map. So here we have the whole world. But if we zoom in this way a little bit, a little bit more, you can see just off the southern coast of India is this nice island called Sri Lanka. As a quick recap, I'm spending one month exploring this beautiful country. For the first 10 days, I'll be with a group of other creators on a trip organized by the Sri Lanka Tourism Board. And then I'll be switching it up completely where I travel solo by myself and I rent a tuk-tuk and drive around, which is gonna be a lot of fun. In the first episode, we visited the northern region of Jaffna, and in this episode, we're exploring the area near Dambula. We'll see some elephants, monkeys, plenty of friendly dogs, learn about this fascinating rock, and even fly in a private jet. But before we do all this, it's time to roll the intro. Good morning friends. Today we woke up nice and early to come to a place called Sigiriya and we're about to hike up to Lion Rock. Now before we explore this area, let's review a quick history of this place. Sigiriya is an ancient city most known for this enormous rock in the center towering at nearly 200 meters or 650 feet. It's known as Lion Rock since there was a huge lion carved into the side, but only the paws remain today. Archaeological excavations have proven that Sigiriya and its surrounding territories were inhabited more than 4,000 years ago. Yeah, 4,000 years. Let that sink in for a second. This area is preserved as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and Sri Lankans even refer to this place as the eighth wonder of the world. Since the 3rd century BC, Sigiriya was used as a monastery, and 8 centuries later, it was turned into a royal palace. And there's a really interesting and violent history attached to this place that's connected with several tragic events in the relationship of two royal brothers, Kasapa and Magalana. As the story has it, Magalana was heir to the throne, and Kasapa was not very happy about that. So in the year 477, he killed his own father to inherit the throne. Fearing his brother's revenge, Kasapa fled to build a royal palace on top of this rock with a heavily fortified city surrounding it. A moat still exists today, with ruins and remnants of thick walls visible, but not thick enough, as revenge was eventually taken by Magalana when he brought an army to invade, leaving Kasapa to commit suicide. A sad ending to a tragic version of Game of Thrones, Sri Lanka edition. All right, so after learning some information about the history of this place, it is time to hike up to the top of Lion Rock. Let's do it. Fun fact for you, there are 1,200 steps leading up to the top made out of limestone. And here we're about to begin. Let's count. One, two, three, four. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, so we were just told to be very quiet because there's many wasps around here and they're disturbed by loud noises. So, we do not want to get stung today, so shh, be quiet. Tom had to specifically tell Steven, Steve, don't be loud, wasps will attack you. Shh. Yet there's a bunch of dogs barking. That's not good. Stop barking, dogs. Shh. Now we're walking up a spiral staircase going inside the rock, I believe. But, unfortunately, we're not allowed to take any video in there because there's some sacred paintings and they get ruined by flash photography and even though I'm not taking any flash photography apparently they used to let people take photos and videos without flash but some people didn't listen so thanks to everybody who ruined it now they say no cameras so I'm gonna have to put this away we'll see you at the top so I absolutely hate heights so going up the staircase is not very fun for me right now but I know it'll all be worth it 
Holy moly. I would scream right now, but I'm afraid that the wasps would come and sting me in the face. But we just made it up to the top with this 360 view. Wow, this is incredible. Definitely not something that is going to be able to showcase in video. It's one of those things that you just gotta be here in person to really appreciate it and soak it all in. So that's what I'm gonna do now. This is incredible. It's just so crazy to think about how all of this was built over 1500 years ago when the technology <laughs> was so much different. I don't even know how they did all this. You can see right behind me right here is the old swimming pool. It is crazy. And our guide was telling us how they somehow manufactured pipes using gravity and they still don't really know how they did it but they were able to pump water to the top of this rock 200 meters up. How they did it, nobody knows, but that's incredible. Whew. All right, after about an hour hanging out at the top, taking some photos and some videos and just chilling and enjoying this, it's time to go back down. And like I said before, this is one of those places that's kind of hard to showcase properly in video. Unless you have a drone. Yeah, we don't have that with us. So you really have to come here for yourself to get the true experience. But now we're going to head back down. Oh, also, I think we're going on safari later. So we'll see you there. All right, guys, we are in our vehicle. It is time for a safari. Let's go see some animals. Over there, you'll see several mama elephants with their babies and even more loud trucks nearby. All right, let's keep going. Whew, this is so much fun. I was just talking about how the only safari I, I've ever been on before this was at Disney World. So, this oh, is really cool. So for the first about 25 minutes of this safari, we didn't see any animals besides a peacock and a random bird, and we were driving through a pretty dense forest, but now we're in more of an open savanna, and we saw a huge herd of elephants, there's maybe 20 elephants there, and then we drove a little bit more to see another soul elephant, and it was so close to us. It was posing for some photos. I think Jerry got some amazing photos. He has a pretty nice lens on right now that can zoom in a little bit further than us. So can I show some of your photos in the vlog? Yeah. Cool, here you go. Oh my goodness, we found another herd of elephants, and right here, there is a baby elephant. And he was just telling us how it's only three months old. It's such a little cutie. Oh my god, that baby, you're so tiny. So tiny. Oh, me more. Puppy elephant. Puppy elephant. <laughs> it's a puppy elephant. It's a young baby. Oh. They angry? That's what they sound like. He's go. trying to talk to us. All right, guys, we just took a break from our safari. And in the meantime, I found this plastic bag, so I filled it with garbage. We're going to clean up Sri Lanka. All right, cool, got it? Yeah. All right, cut. Okay. <laughs> we're just kidding, we're not, we're, we, we're, we did actually clean just up Just kidding, <laughs> we're taking trash with us. All right, so after our safari, we hopped in the vans, we drove about 20 minutes. We're trying to catch the sunset. I have no idea where we are, but the sun is going down right now. So we are running through the jungle, trying to find a spot for sunset. Oh, we got a towel. Thank you. <laughs> where are we? There's a guy up here handing us towels. Cool. Oh my goodness. This view is amazing. The sun is setting. I got a cold towel. This is the best place ever. <laughs> oh, look at that sunset. Everyone's 
just trying to take some photos over here. The sun just went down, so the sky is a nice pink cotton candy color right now. And after everyone's done taking some photos, we have a little tea time set up right here with some snacks. This is incredible. This is so beautiful. And what's really cool, look at this. They have this basket that goes right to the resort so they can get supplies. Check this out. That's so cool. All right, we're going to put Pema in the basket and send her back. <laughs> Whew, all right, after taking some nice photos, the sun has officially set. It's getting a little dark. We're going to enjoy this. We're going to put the camera down and just be here, present in the moment. So I'll see you guys later. Peace. Hey, hey, today we are doing something very exciting. So unfortunately at this time here in Sri Lanka all drones are banned so we're not allowed to fly which explains why you haven't seen any drone footage yet but to counteract that today we came to the Air Force base near Sigiriya and instead of flying our drones we're going to fly ourselves I'm very excited we're about to get an airplane right now <laughs> let's go Landed and that was so much fun. The takeoff immediately was just, I've never been on a plane where you take up almost going straight up. <laughs> well, it wasn't straight up, but it was intense. And that plane ride was beautiful. We saw water buffalo and birds. It was kind of hard to film because we were very shaky, but wow. That was amazing. What did you guys think of that? I thought I we were in a rocket ship. I have so much in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so for the past few days, we've been eating a lot of our meals in the hotels we've been staying at, but I've heard here in Sri Lanka, it's very common for lunch to happen like this, buffet style. With different curries and rice red and rice. vegetables. and this. Yeah, rice. red rice. The best rice. So you know the big difference of red rice? No. White rice can be regrown in the same field over and over and over and over and over and over. <laughs> Red rice, you can only grow it in the same spot one time. Really? So what, the legend what is, says. What is the difference between red rice and white rice? Do you know? Mm, it's better. It's better? Just, just no, better? I don't know. I was just is it healthier? I think so. Probably healthier. Have you guys ever had red rice? I just, I just had it for the first time the other day. It's pretty good. But I'm very excited to indulge in all this food. So I'm going to put the camera away. We'll see you later. Peace. All right, so the girls are going in to get changed and dress up in the local clothing. We're gonna hunt for sunset. <laughs> yeah, but the boys are going sunset chasing. We have about an hour until the sun's getting low. So we wanna go find a nice spot for Jerry to take some photos. Hello. Oh, is this for me? Yes. Woo. Look at that. Thank you. Hello, hello. Ooh, these are real flowers. <laughs> All right, so we just made it to the hotel, which looks absolutely beautiful. We just kind of skipped through the entrance and we're trying to get to the lake because we want to find a nice spot for sunset. We still got some time, but we have to find a spot because this lake is huge. So close. We came down to this side, but there's a river. So, oh, dogs. They're so friendly. I hope they're friendly. <laughs> yeah, they're friendly. <laughs> yeah. Looks like we made some new friends. These dogs are coming with us. All right. This is like when I was in India and I met Jerry the dog. Now I'm with Jerry the human and a bunch of other random dogs. But this one's barking. It's a standoff. Ruff, 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 ruff. This one's leading us. No, no. This one's leading us to the sunset spot. Oh, he's getting his, he's recruiting his friend. Oh, maybe they're not friends. Hello. Oh, what is an elephant? We just found an elephant. <laughs> oh my goodness. This guy is feeding this elephant. That's what happens when you uh, explore 
the streets of Sri Lanka. Elephants. And dogs. What's up, dogs? Doggy. Doggy, 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 doggy. Hey, doggy, doggy. Hello, doggy, 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 doggy. Aww. This dog wants some attention, too. What's up, doggy, doggy, doggy? Oh, doggy, 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 elephant. This dog is totally walking with us all the way to the lake. This one doesn't look friendly, though. Hello. I just... Oh, <laughs> oh no, that's our friend. Leave him alone. Let them be. Let them be friends. Okay, hopefully this trail will lead us to the lake with a nice spot to see the sunset. And we got Doggy coming with us. Doggy, doggy, dog, dog, dog. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Bye. We have a dog. We have a dog. We have a new friend, it is a dog. Oh my god, it's a little puppy. Hi! Bye! Hi! Woo. Hey! There's a little puppy coming down the road. Oh, look at the puppy! Hey, puppy! Hey! Oh, he's out of here. What are we gonna name this dog? How about. How about Lake? Lake. Lake. Since we're going to the lake, we're naming this dog Lake. Lake, meet Lake. Hello. Go in, go, 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 yeah! Wow. This is super nice. <laughs> I have a wide angle lens on right now and I can't zoom in very much, but we can see monkeys from where we are. I wish I could show you, but Two. probably can't see. They're so little. There's a little baby yeah. monkey. Oh. They're tiny. Whoa. And they're staring at us. Yeah. So our original mission was to come out here and get some nice photos. And although we didn't really find a nice spot for photos, we did have a really cool journey. We found an amazing view for our eyes that is not nice to capture with photos, but still a beautiful lake. Elephants. Elephants. Wild dogs. Oh, many dogs. Cat that like almost mauled four dogs. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Monkeys. Monkeys, water, water buffalo, buffalo, and a Locals. bunch and like 800 different types of birds. And lake fish. Yeah, so there you go. We had a little safari of our own. Who needs to rent a tour guide? <laughs> we got lake dog. Yeah, and now we're gonna see if we can bring our dog all the way back to our hotel with us. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go home, Lake. High five. Ooh. High five. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, guys. I just arrived at the hotel, and it's actually not a hotel. It's more of a resort. I have my own little villa. It's its own building. Look at this. You walk into a little living room area. There's even some fruit over here. That's pretty sweet. Walk upstairs to my master bedroom. Hold on. You know what we got to do. You know what we got to do. Let me put this down over here real quick. Time for a bed jump. One, two, skiddly diddly do. Oh, that's a soft bed. Bed jump approved. Mm. All right, we just made it back to Amaya Resort. We are having a lovely dinner here, and this brings us to the end of this video. So if you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it if you click that like button. If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe. And we have some really exciting things coming up in the next video. And also, everything you've seen today, if you're interested, for any more information, check the description below, as I'll leave links and other helpful tips and tricks and information you can find there. But for now, here's a little preview of what's coming in the next episode. Peace. Our destination today is a town called Candy. Most holiest temple in the whole island. It's beautiful. At least it's beautiful up here. View is incredible. Now we are in Candy, and our next destination is Nuarelia. Whoa, this tree is so cool! <laughs> All right, so our next stop here is on a tea farm. First, we're gonna go inside the factory to see how the tea gets processed. Then we're gonna go out to see how it gets picked, and then I believe we get to taste it. Black tea. 
green tea white tea silver tea one plant different kinds of tea thank you i'm a bitch yeah i'm a bitch <laughs> everything looks so cool in this town even the post office looks so cool we're gonna get hit but i'm in the middle of the street and vlogging over here what is going on i should be paying attention this train ride just got so much cooler. There's even a restaurant back here. What the heck? First class cabins did not have this kind of stuff. Hi guys! I'm so happy right now. All right, here we go. We have a we found a plant right here that is a natural hair removal, and we're gonna test it out on, on my butt. <laughs> 